In a very surprising verdict, a, an ex-Texas cop has been found guilty of murder in the shooting death of an unarmed 15 year old uh, who was unfortunately gunned down back in April of 2017 while he was a passenger in a vehicle. Now the former cop Roy Oliver was found guilty by the jury. And to give you some background details on what occurred in April of 2017, Oliver killed a 15 year old named Jordan Edwards after the then officer fired into a moving car carrying five black teenagers leaving a local house party. Edwards was in the front passenger seat, but he was found guilty. Oliver though did testify that he opened fire after seeing the car move toward his partner. He says he thought his partner was in danger, but his partner told jurors he did not fear for his life and never felt the need to fire his weapon. Also, no guns were found in the teen's vehicle. This is actually a, a great case of the cops overall doing the right thing, the other cops. So uh, oftentimes you'll hear uh, people making excuses for police abuse uh, or these shootings of unarmed uh, people by saying, oh, it's just a few bad apples. But then all the other cops stick up for them. So no, it's not a few bad apples, it's all the apples defending each other and you know, and gives you a sense of what's wrong with the barrel. But in this case, and credit where credit is due, the guy who was his partner said no, no, it's, it's just not true. Uh, and apparently the, the, the car was moving away from his partner, yes. not even towards his partner. And so look, a cop's gotta be really unstable for his partner to turn and say, not true, you should send him, in essence, he's saying you should send him to prison. Uh, he, he killed that guy. And, and it's the whole department, they, they fired him immediately, just yes. a couple of days of investigation and fired him. And it might be that the guy's unstable in a lot of ways and they were like, oh, we gotta get this guy out, out of here and he is a danger to the public. Right. So, but if, if all the cases were like this, look, you're never gonna get rid of bad people, you're never gonna get rid of unstable people. You, what you want is a justice system that works and that brings you justice. Right, a justice system that not only brings justice, but also weeds out the bad cops. Because yeah. we are supposed to have law enforcement that protects us, that you know looks out for us. And far too often we do come across stories where justice isn't served, the cop continues to do what he's doing. And you're right, Jenk, like one of the biggest issues, I don't think all cops are bad, I don't believe that at all. But I do think that far too often there are cops who refuse to speak up. And look, some cops refuse to speak up because they're worried about retaliation against them. And I get that, but be a leader, speak up. And also, there are those who actively try to cover up for their friends. We've seen those cases as well. In this case, I'm so happy to see someone, a cop, do the right thing and disagree with what Roy Oliver said. The, the car was not moving toward them. They had no reason to fear their lives. There was no reason for Oliver to open fire and kill a 15 year old. And I think that he was convicted because of the testimony of other cops. Yes. Otherwise, you know, they just take the cops word for it almost every time. So look, that's what we're worried about in this country, which is systemic injustice. When Anna talks about retaliation from other cops, well, if the cops were the good guys, why would you have to worry about retaliation for telling the truth? Yeah. Right? And protecting citizens. You wouldn't have to. And we told, we've told you many times the problems is the training and then the justice system favors the cops. McCullough in Missouri uh, went to a grand jury, pretty much defended the guy he was supposed to be prosecuting. Luckily, he was thrown out of office recently uh, and, and progressives winning these races and bringing real criminal justice reform is hugely important. But let's go back to the story and I know it's frustrating that it's the exception and not the rule. But at least today, there's a little bit of justice in America. Right. And, and his fellow cops did the right thing and they did weed out the bad apple and he was convicted. You're never gonna stop all crime, what you look for is justice. And in this case, finally, a little bit of justice for not just African Americans, but all people who care about justice in this country. Did you know the TYT network is now available on YouTube's new streaming platform, YouTube TV? Get access to full TYT episodes and exclusive shows by signing up for YouTube TV today. All new subscribers get a seven day free trial. So head over to youtube.tv and search for TYT Network's channel.